Good evening, and welcome to our next episode of Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace, that's right, she's back. I know and I'm said, still alive. And I'm still alive. Again, we do this every week, and every week I get excited she's here, and every week I get excited that I'm alive. <laughs> Not because anything's wrong with me, but I'm afraid she's going to kill me after these episodes, because... I don't even threaten him. It's just that I watch so much Deadly Women, and we watch so much true crime. He's afraid that I would know how to do it and get by it. She takes notes. All right. Anyway. It's fun. Get with, with, like a, with a freaking recorder and everything. All right. It's fun. All right. So first of all, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for watching last week's episode. A great episode. I uh, hope you loved it. Hope you tried our balls. At least tried my balls. No. Hope you tried the balls. Hope you loved them. Uh, if you haven't gotten a chance the to try them. The potato balls. Oh, yeah. Those two. Hope you enjoyed the potato balls. Um, hope you loved them. Uh, let us know what you thought. Hope you've been checking out. We've gotten, uh, we've gotten a lot of orders from cookingwithmichael.us. Uh, yeah. We're getting ready Especially for the week. pot holders and the aprons. Yeah. That's, it's actually, we're really excited. So, uh, and we're still able to do it and fulfill it before Christmas. So uh, check it out and uh, buy some stuff. Your loved ones will love it. So anyway, and of course, we, we uh, want to thank... Well, wait a minute. We don't have any... Shit. Did we forget Andrew? I think you forgot to go to Andrew this week. We forgot to go to Andrew. Which is quite shocking because sometimes I think there might actually be a little umbilical tie between Michael and Andrew's store. Facts. It makes it easier. Actually, I asked him if he could just put a port in and I could just walk in and get a little... Just no. pour the bottle of, of wine in. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I just get a little... Get one of those little stands that they have in hospitals for the, uh, for the for IV the bags. And just hook up the uh, little Pinot Grigio bag. Yeah, right there. The, the Pinot Grigio upside down and have a little line. There's so many things wrong with that, but you know. Yes, it's anyway. called alcohol poisoning. Yeah. So anyway, so tonight's episode, we're going to uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to do something uh, very different. We're actually going back instead of these appetizers and these little things that we're doing. Yeah, it's going to be an actual meal. We're actually going to be a meal. It's so. got meat. It's even got vegetables in it. He might he might die from it because there's vegetables. But it's but it's, it's but we'll see. Yeah. All right, so why don't <laughs> why don't we go ahead and get started and we'll uh, let's let's go ahead and get this started. We'll make some what, what? All right, hey guys. What, what, hey, right. how you doing? It's Katrina. Apparently, it's a Katrina night. Um, yeah, how you doing? Ooh, did and you she go? brought us wine. Did you go to Andrews? I went to Andrews. She's and looking out for Michael. She went to Andrews to have a beer and wine. She hooked us up. Um, brown him options because he needs the brown in his horizons, to be honest. Yes, uh, well, I drink the same kind of pina grigia every week, but I, I, I'm, I'm old. I like consistency. We have options. We have Okay, we have options. <laughs> um, well, we already planned the meal, so Katrina, we're not going to be making buttercock this week. No. Oh. Fantastic. But that's American. not how it's pronounced. How is it pronounced? Katrina, can you give him the correct pronunciation again? Buttercook. Buttercook. Yeah, see, it's, it's more like cook. Buttercook. Like it's a little I'm more a like cookie. Like, I'm a, like, like I'm you're a cookie. cookie. Like I'm cookie yeah. with my cock. Anyway. Oh my God, would you stop? All right, so um, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and fill my glass with the options. Uh, let's see what this one. I'm going to get off the same box. So, uh, oh, this one. I won't say the names of it because we don't say the names of it because they're not sponsoring us. But this is nude wine. So I'm all good for nude wine. It's nude up. There's an A on the end. Not the way I say it. So let's see what it's like. But again, thank you, Andrew Chapel Beer and Wine, for always taking care. Did you get some? Did you get something on bulk? I did, indeed. Oh, indeed. well, thank you. You know, because. Ah, Savion Blanc. Okay. I got options for everyone. Oh, it's a different yeah. kind of alcohol. Because typically we get, well, we can't say the name. But anyway. <laughs> we get right. the same particular brand. We get the same particular brand, but, uh, and Andrew knows which one because he's, you know. Because he orders it for us. Because he orders it for us. So anyway. That's true. All right, we spent a ton of time. I'm so glad you're here. This is going to be really cool. All right, so we're going to make a bolognese sauce tonight. Um, goes on pasta, of course, different kinds of pasta. You can, you know, if you want rigatoni, penne, uh, spaghetti, linguine, whatever the hell you want to make, it doesn't matter. It's really the sauce that we're making that we're focusing on tonight. Uh, we love it. It's a great date night dinner for us. Um, so much fun. They're crashing their date. They're cra she's crashing her date. We're actually going to have a threesome. No. Um, oh, no. So have you ever had bolognese sauce? I have, but I haven't had your bolognese sauce. It's because we're not dating. Yeah, you're dating her. I am dating her. Go ahead, say it. Out loud. I'm married and I'm dating an axe murderer. 
It all comes back to deadly women. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and start. Um, yep. So, you know what? We were gonna, why don't we go ahead and put our aprons on? Well, now, I guess I'll pass off since we have a guest. The Fuck That's Hot Apron that you can get at cookingwithmichael.us. And for those of you who ordered this week, thank you so much. Your orders are being fulfilled as we speak. I'll go ahead and uh, pass this on to you as the guest. I will keep my Cooking With Michael sweatshirt on. And Candace, uh, you got the midget one. So, anyway. All right, so we're going to start off. We've already heated up. As you know, it's our it's our hot pot. Our hot plate. Our hot plate. God, I haven't started drinking the nude wine yet. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I heated up to medium heat um, to start off with. So we're going to go ahead and take our, our pot, our pan, our skillet, whatever the heck you want to call it. Sauce pan. All right. We're going to first take some olive oil. It only took seven tries, but you got there. I did get there, yeah. It's whatever the hell it's called. We're going to use uh, our extra virgin olive oil. Um, that we actually got this one when we went shopping last week. What was it, Aldi? It was Aldi. It was. They actually had stuff. It was kind of cool. So oh, okay. anyway, so we're gonna use the actual virgin olive oil, um, which goes well with the bulk comment from last week. Anyway, um, and we're gonna use a couple tablespoons. Of, you know me. Measuring is fantastic. Um, and let's put some in there. That's good. So let's pour some in there. And then we're going to take uh, bacon. Now, we've been talking about bacon and how expensive yeah. bacon is. We oh love our God. bacon. But we got turkey bacon this time. And turkey bacon <clears throat> adds a different flavor. We didn't get the meat bacon because we're going to be making, we're going to be browning ground beef. Turkey is still meat. It had a face. <laughs> so it's still meat. I get the water going. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. You did it worse the second time. I really did, didn't I? <laughs> Oh, you gotta swallow. This is... Oh my god. All right, so... I that you're supposed to be on my side. I am Switzerland, therefore I'm neutral. <laughs> Which means we're both getting screwed tonight. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we're, so the turkey bacon, yes, it's meat, but we're using a poultry bacon as opposed to a pig That's bacon. Not, yes. So, better? That's much better. Okay. She's over there with her... No, I dislike half-truths. Yeah, I'm sure there's a Google thing on there to describe exactly why turkey bacon is poultry. Because um, it's made of turkey. Fine. I realize that that's coming on another one. Anyway, one more stuff on cooking with Michael Douglas. Anyway, so we'll use the four, basically four uh, pieces of it. But again, the turkey bacon adds a nice flavor and, um, and a contrast to the pork that we're going to be using and the ground beef that we're going to be using. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this in. And... What we're going to do is we're going to do this until the, the bacon is fully cooked. This is not something that, you know, there's always that, uh, that discussion of bacon. Are you doing only four strips or is that you're just cooking it until those four strips are done and then, then you're adding more? It's a good question. It's a very good question. Oh, we're okay. actually only using four strips because we're actually okay. going to crumble it up. Okay. Okay. Um, so while I'll just wanted to make sure folks watching knew that. Yeah. And as you can see, basically just throw it in there. And we have the oil in there for a couple reasons. One, we're going to use some of that grease a little later. Um, two, it helps the bacon cook because it's uh, turkey bacon, so it doesn't have as much grease as mm -hmm. the other bacon. Okay. Plus, we're also going to use an onion. And I like the uh, red yeah. onion because the onion, red onion, I think, has a little bit better flavor than the yellow onion or the white onion. So we're going to go with the red onion. I've already chopped it up, as you can see. And it's also it won't prettier. make you cry any less. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take garlic. Now, some of you who have watched our show, again, all of you who have watched, thank you so much. Um, you've seen us use real garlic, uh, not real garlic, but you've seen us use fresh garlic. I swear, I've had literally half a cup fresh of Fresh garlic, garlic, canned garlic, garlic and garlic powdered is. garlic is what he's trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point, but anyway, we're going to use our mini. don't either. <laughs> okay, so we've got Candace at CookingWithMichael.us. Apparently, we've got to put just extra guests for all the hate mail. At cooking with Michael US. Okay, anyway, so we're since we're only looking for one clover. I still haven't gotten any hate mail. Yeah, I, I have, but I'm not sure why. Um, she so little. And she's a little. She's a She's a You did like a, a pillow. Stop. Oh, sorry. So she was there for that. I know I never told you the story, but email me at Michael at cooking with US. I'll tell you the story. All right, so I'm going to take uh, basically a teaspoon. A of, drunk woman was involved, and it wasn't me. That is straight up facts. It wasn't me either. It was somebody yeah. that we, we don't was some really random know. woman that was just there. And really just wanted to take Candace home and 
No. Lay with a pillow. I was really weird. She's pillow size now, guys. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna put. Uh, Jesus Christ. It was very strange. It was. It was. It was. It was you want to bizarre. talk about a body pillow? There it is. Yeah. That is true. Facts. So one. <laughs> so one clove. One clove of garlic. Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> one clove of garlic um, equals one teaspoon of the minced garlic. That's what we're gonna use. And we're basically, I'm going to go ahead and crank this up again because God knows um, our hot. It's not sizzling our, yet. Yeah, it's not sizzling. So we're going to cook this. Um, it'll take, you know, when it's fully cooked, the bacon's fully cooked, we'll take it out, put it in a, in a bowl, and then we'll go to the next step. So um, we're going to kind of fast forward, and uh, the next thing you see is us doing the next part. So keep watching. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's pretty much cooked. Turkey bacon was not going to look like pork bacon. It's not going to be the black, crispy, you know, whatever um but it's good and we can actually break this up so what we're going to do is we're going to take this aside or we're going to put this aside i swear to god only a little bit of new or new one what the hell am i drinking all right so we're going to go ahead and take this uh and just basically put this right into a bowl all right so we're going to put this aside for right now we'll break it up and we'll add it to it in a minute so what we're going to do is next we're going to take our meat it's basically ground beef which i got at my butcher's and we're going to brown the ground beef at the same time, we're going to take a half pound of the of, uh, ground pork, and we're going to mix this up, okay? Basically, brown meat makes it all nice up uh, together. We're going to make, when it's nice and brown, and then we're going to drain it, and then we'll start adding the rest of the stuff to it. So, uh, we'll be right back when this is brown. All right. There is a pun here. Yeah. I'm chopping your meat. <laughs> Lizzie Gordon. Mm. For the blooper reel, when she shows that Lizzie Borden chopping meat, the reason why I'm over here is because the hot plate sucks. It's good for the show to kind of give you an idea of what I'm doing, but it sucks. Yeah. Good thing it's only 20 bucks. Yeah, as far as actual cooking goes. If our stove ever breaks down again next week, because um, it's due for it, mm -hmm. we're fucked. But I do have my new Pinot Grigio, so. Well, we just have to plan ahead by about an hour. Yeah. Dinner okay. starts right after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look, our hot plate actually cooked something. Secret Edited. time. It wasn't the hot plate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you can see, our meat is uh, is nice and browned. Um, there is uh, some juice in there, so we are going to go ahead and drain it. Um, so let's go ahead and drain that now. And remember, do not drain your grease right directly into your. Uh, your sink or your into one. your sink at all whether it's direct or indirect that's right don't, don't pour it down your yeah, sink. don't pour down the don't sink otherwise you'll ruin your date night because the plumber will have to come and they'll be playing with their own pipes as opposed to you playing with hey, pipes hey, hey, hey. Sorry. so we're going to take this and we're going to um basically what i do is i pour it right into a cup and then uh when it's when it's uh solid into mine and my older son's favorite teacup no less Oh, Thanks. I'm somebody sleeping on the couch tonight. Again. All right. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is going to drain it, and then when it gets, you know, when it's salt, when it solidifies, scoop it out, put it in the bag, throw it in the garbage. You're not going to be able to use your favorite cup for a little bit. I know. You can see. And instead of, the easiest way to drain is put the... <laughs> easiest way to drain is just put the lid on top of it and uh, tip it over. All right, so as you can see, we've drained it, got our uh, meat in there. Now all we're gonna do is put the sauce together and then we're gonna let it cook for an hour. Um, before we do that, Karen, we're not going to go around and, and hobbit them like we did last time. But because the hobbit can't reach. So these are the cats. <laughs> but here's the little miss. Normal, flounder, okay. And actually, here's the extra cuteness that mm. normal affords. Kitty belly. So, She's super sweet. I moved her. All right. So, Karen, I hope you're enjoying your vacation. I hope you enjoyed the cats. Now let's get back to food. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take our mixtures now. So we're going to take the bacon mixture, which, again, has the garlic, the onions, and the bacon that we did. Um, you can see it's all been chopped up. Our special guest chopped it all up. That was me. Who did that? Sorry. She made herself useful. She, yeah. She gets to stand. I was just... Staying, coming for the food, to be honest. That's, what <laughs> That's it. That's all. I have yeah. two requirements. Two. We, drink, eat. All right, so we're going to take the bacon and bacon, uh, uh, onion, and garlic mixture. We're just going to go ahead and pour that right in there. Okay? 
Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our vegetable mixture. Now, good thing, or the one thing of bolognese, which makes a bolognese, is not just the meat. It's the vegetables you use. So once we're gonna what? Hold up. Can you say that again? Some people might not be okay with the fact that it's not just the meat. Like him? Yeah. They're picking on me. Of course we are. I'm not gonna answer. When um, are we the he wind? already said, it's not just about the meat, it's about the vegetables too. Oh my God, he said it. It's basically And he's fixing foreplay. something with vegetables. Okay, so we see the, the, the vegetables that are in here are celery, carrots, and mushrooms. I don't know how that was. All right, yeah, so um, fresh mushrooms, uh, fresh, fresh carrots, fresh celery, chop up real small. I got to use my food processor. Yes, he got to use his little baby <laughs> toy. I did. It's a, all right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put just basically pour those right in there. Okay. It looks like an awful lot. and They will cook it down. They will cook remember down. they're vegetables. And vegetables are mostly vegetables. So we'll go ahead and mix those in there. Maybe. Like, next thing we're going to do oh, is... Oh, wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in a half cup of chicken stock. Just a little bit of chicken stock. No. Cold beer on a Friday. Oh, sorry. Chicken fried. So just yeah. Chicken fried. We want you also to like our page. Anyway, so half a cup of chicken stock. Okay, it's already been made. All right. Then we're going to take, and this is actually, let me get that back. This is what's a little disappointing to me. It's good, but it's not. I have to actually use some of my peanut grease. Oh, do you have any peanut grease to bring from Andrews? Yes! All right. All right, so we're going to take uh, a half a cup of white wine. He has to sacrifice some of his peanut grease, y'all. Now, I'm actually measuring it only because I don't want to use too much. Not because of the taste, because I want to drink it. So. Because it's nude. It's nude, yes. Mm. I'm going to pour that in there, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big old can of diced tomatoes. You want to make sure. Woo! You, you want to make sure you spill it though. all over the table and the floor so yeah. that your and wife shoes. has as much as possible to clean up. Done. You want to make sure. Thanks. You want to make sure that you do not get the ones that already have the seasonings in, because again, we're using seasonings. Those and are that, foul. And that, and it just screws up the whole taste of everything. So yeah. we're gonna take this out. We're gonna go ahead and pour in a gigantic can of yeah. tomatoes. You would think that it would save you trouble if you get the seasoned ones, but they're not. First of all, they're not the right seasonings for this particular dish. Correct. And Personally, I think they're disgusting. Anyway, I don't. I have never met anyone who we've discussed the seasoned tomato things with and said, "Oh, I love those." I don't know who they sell them to. Yeah, me neither. Probably just people who buy them by mistake, like we did. <laughs> yeah. Then you want to take tomato sauce, just regular tomato sauce. Um, the exact same thing, not the seasoned, the, the regular one. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna pour it right on top. All right, and yes, we are running out of room, but we'll be fine because it will cook down. Now we have the seasonings. We're going to take oregano. Basically a half a teaspoon of oregano, but it's me, right? That looks good. Same thing with the basil leaves. About a half a teaspoon of basil leaves. Then take a little bit of salt and pepper, and again, this is just a taste. So we're going to salt. I do this every single no, that's time. pepper. This is pepper. We're going to pepper. And Maybe I should take a label maker and write on the top, on the bottom of them, whether they're salt or pepper. You'd think the look would be different. Anyway, but um, it's clearly it's not enough for you. you so me. don't roll your eyes at me attempting to Michael proof something. Oh, and then you can put a little tiny Damn. label on there that says label and put that on the label. <laughs> little Sheldon Cooper here. Why are you here again? Oh, because I am um, a joy to have. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. All right. Um, and then we're going to use our sea salt. Again, sea salt grinder. Um, we're going to assault it. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, oh fair enough. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of salt. Again, know your audience. Then we're going to mix it up. We're going to let it uh, cook for about an hour. Okay, on simmer. We're going to get it to a boil, bring it down to simmer, let it simmer for an hour. While it's doing that, we're going to cook our pasta. And just so you know, we're going to use 
our boys' favorite pasta, so I'm stealing it from them. Rainbow pasta! Rainbow pasta, which is actually a tricolor rotini. Um, it uh, gives them a little bit of uh, vegetables that they don't know about. Shh, don't tell them. Uh, but really, it's just, just a, a little trace don't, amount. Don't tell vegetables. Michael there's vegetables in that pasta. But it's better than nothing. But it's better than nothing. It's poison. It's that's right. It's gonna kill me. So anyway, so we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're going to uh, let this uh, simmer for an hour, and then when we're done, we'll come back. Um, the pasta will be done. We'll put it all together. We'll taste it. We'll love it, and um, we'll go from there. So we'll be back. Uh, we'll be back in an hour. Yeah, you said an hour. So back in an hour. And due to major technical difficulties, all you're going to see now is subtitles and not the rest of us talking for the rest of the show. Mm. Alright, ready? Let's make it sound super scandalous. <laughs> 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 